Hello everyone and welcome back to Pedro Plays. I'm Pedro and we're back in Subnautica. So, last uh, episode we just gathered a couple of resources. We built a repair tool, a flashlight, an air blader and a scanner. So, a few um, tools, some equipment as well. We have built already the high capacity uh, tank and now we must... Um, start searching for the um, items that we will need okay so we will need to uh, to explore um, the area around us I want to build uh, a sea glide as soon as possible we have already got um, a O2 high capacity tank okay which is quite nice yeah there you are There's another one over there. Okay, let's go through this quite quickly. Okay. See if we can get away from these guys. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Okay, let's get some oxygen here. And let's off this way. Okay, we got some quartz. We can gather some resources as we go. This is quite tricky to swim around here because we can get lost in these caves and drown, which would not be good. But we've got lots of quartz. catch one of these fish bubbles okay and off we go so where's our life path okay over there so right we have an air bladder now so need to be doing this all the time. Okay, let's head that way. Okay. Night time. Shit. I hate being out here at night. We can't see anything. Look at this. We can't see anything. I think these are reef bags over here. Yes, they are. Okay, people, let me equip this uh, this properly. So this would be number two. Scanner will be number three. Our flashlight will be number five. And the earth leather will be number four. The earth leather is quite uh, quite useful here. You will see why in a, a bit, okay, now. Okay, we got lead. Nothing to scan around here. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, so at this stage, once we go under or below 100 meters, I can't see anything here. Jesus Christ, he is giving me goosebumps already. Oh boy. So, okay, people. So this is what the um, the air bladder is good for. And here we are at the surface, and as you can see, 
No, you can't. We can't see anything here. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Reginald. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, so. There's nothing here. Jesus Christ. Okay, I was trying to uh, to explore this, see if we would be able to find. Okay, we got something to scan here. Laser cutter. What have we got here? Bio reactor fragment. Okay. So we have found something. Okay, let's go get some air. Okay, and let's dive back down. Straight down. I'm not going to, uh, to, um, uh, or at least I will try not to go uh, very far, because I know the things that I'm looking for should be here around this uh, area. The thing is, at night time, we can't see much down here, so, and with this uh, um, color grading, even less. Okay, metal salvage, that's good. Let's get two of these. They'll become handy. Peeper. Here, Peeper. Don't run. Technically, he was not running. He was swimming, but you know what I mean. Okay, so lots of these guys here, but they actually don't do anything. Okay, let's get some oxygen. Yes, come on, give me the bubbles. There's a shuttle bug. Okay, people, then let's swim out of here. Some titanium. copper and let's swim out of here okay, I don't want a, any creature egg by now okay maybe we should go uh, into the uh, the kelp forest but for the moment let's go back to our uh, life pod could still get some some more resources out here before going back but let's uh, uh, let's go back I want to uh, make some um, water bottles from this leather fish that we had we have three of them I think I'm going to get here another one there we go okay so almost night So we will have light. Okay, so uh, let's go into our fabricator here. Let's build or let's make a couple of uh, water bottles. Okay, four more water bottles. These ones provide us with. Okay, let's cook the whole fish for now. Okay, and I want to eat the whole fish. We have two peppers, I'm going to leave them here. Ok, 
Okay. Actually, I didn't. We have lots of uh, of titanium now, but can we actually build anything else? Mm -hmm. Not really. Okay, so where are those? Um oh, here they are. Okay, so let's place all of this in here. Let's leave here this fish as well. I think I'm going to need the battery pretty soon, but let's go into the uh, into the kelp forest. I think we will be able to uh, to find some of the fragments for the blueprints we are going to need in this uh, early stage of the game. So, what have we got here? Anything? Nothing here. Nothing. What's this? Siglet fragment. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. And another one. Yes. So what do I need for it? Okay, so where is it? The Siglite. This will be... Oh, we can build a Bree Breather already. Hmm. That's nice. Go. Oh, so for the sea glide, what do I need? Lubricant, battery, titanium. I think I can do. I can make all of this. Okay. Let's uh, let's go back. Let's uh, uh, build us um, a sea glide, which will allow us to swim a lot faster here. So we'll make everything much easier. Okay. So. Let's see, and we will uh, listen to that message while we are at it. Okay, so we need uh, wind titanium, I believe. Copper ore. Need two copper. Yep. And for the battery, actually, I will need another copper for the battery and we will need to get the lubricant which I think it's uh, uh, outside on those uh, floating storage um, okay so let's get out once again one lubricant and uh, uh, I'm going to need a battery so I'm going to need a couple of acid mushrooms okay. Okay, we have plenty of those around here. Actually got one more than I than what I need. Okay. Let's build a battery. Now let's go here into the deployables and let's build our Siglide. Yes! The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, I will. Okay, so we have water. We have. I think we should uh, build another uh, another battery or two. Do I have any copper on me? No. Nope. I should have somewhere. One here, and I should have another one here. Yep. Okay. Well, so let's build a couple of uh, extra uh, batteries. S we will need them. Our flashlight is almost out of uh, energy. Um, okay. So water, food. Yeah. Let's let's listen to uh, to the. Uh, message that we have okay meanwhile let me just unpin the sea glide okay so the bioreactor will allow us to get energy from organic sources so you need to uh, actually place organic um, matter in it to get us power but we won't do that uh, just yet this is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. 
We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Yeah. Out. No worries. Signal location uploaded to PDA. We won't go without you. Okay, so uh, life pod three, where is it? Okay, there it is. So let's go. Oh, this is so much faster. Love it. Yes. Okay, so we uh, we have started to uh, to get these messages from the um, from the uh, life pods. Okay, so these life pods were the ones. Okay, meanwhile, let's not forget to scan what we find along the way. Okay, so so in the end, we got another uh, message. Okay, so the uh, the story for this uh, for this game is based on these uh, on these life pods. Okay, so. We are. We were on the uh, Aurora, that big ship, and we got a compass, and we also have a PDA. Okay, so integrating new PDA data. So what happened? What happened is that the um, the Aurora uh, actually crashed. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of these. Hello, Stalker, and. Um, all of these life pods were ejected from the uh, from the ship. Okay, so uh, our ended up on a, a pretty Jesus Christ, go away! Um, our life pod ended up on a pretty much uh, safe uh, zone. Okay, is this it? Yes, the mobile bay fragment. Awesome. Okay, up we go. Okay, and we had a new uh, message. So, uh, those uh, life pods were actually uh, ejected from the main ship and they were scattered around the, uh, the map. So, um, what is happening is that we are receiving the, uh, the messages that were uh, recorded from those... Um, from those... what have we got here? Sea glide fragment. We already have it. I'm going to scan it because it gives us some titanium. People, titanium, titanium is never enough in this game. You can never have too much. So, let's head back. Let's listen to that uh, uh, other uh, message. Meanwhile, there is another way to uh, for us to uh, to build water in the uh, in the game. So, uh, we I think we have a salt deposit here somewhere. Yeah, we do. So. Okay, so let's build us some uh, fiber mesh. I think we had something there that we could build already. I think it was the rebreather. What else do we need? Oh, we will need two silver for it. Okay, we don't have it yet. So, using these uh, coral tube samples and the salt deposit, we can make uh, bleach and... Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. And somehow, from bleach, we will be able to uh, make this effective water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Okay, people. And we have another uh, radio. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Yeah, they Our didn't. Our was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Yeah. Signal location uploaded to PDA. This snake-like thing is trying to um, break into that uh, life pod. So we have a new location there. Uh, there it is. Okay, so here we go once again. Glad we have those extra uh, batteries, so 
if we run out of uh, uh, energy on the Siglite, we'll be able to uh, to replace them. Okay, so let's head off to the uh, to the next signal. That would be life pod 17. Okay. Eyes sharp for for what you might find uh, along the seafloor. Here we can't see much. Okay, there it is. Let's see what we've got there. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. And I don't think there's nothing else. We might find something. Oh god. We may actually find something around. Yes, Seamoth fragment. Okay, anything else around here? Okay, people. Let's see if I can uh, if I can find some uh, some silver around here. Let's go back to the surface. Use our air bladder for it. Okay, and then let's head back down. I want to see if I can find some uh, some silver, so we can build uh, the uh, rebreather. The rebreather will allow us to. Um, use less oxygen once we are on uh, once we are under uh, 100 meters so but I'm not seeing any shale outcrops oh here's one oh sandstone sorry not shale shale is a different thing uh, anything else here Oh, here's another one. Come on, give me silver. Silver, yes. Anything to scan here? Yeah, laser cutter. We will need this laser, this laser cutter further on. It's uh, actually one of the most important tools we can get in the uh, in the game. Okay, any more sandstone? Okay, copper, titanium. Oh, here's another one. Give me silver. Silver, oh, gold. Here we go again. Yay! Okay, so let's. Okay, it's night time already. Are the lights on this even on? They are. Passing 100 meters. Okay, so once efficiency decreased. Once we hear uh, this. Congratulations, uh, survivor! You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500 percent. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. I'm an athlete, people. Okay, we've been here already. There's nothing to scan around here. Okay, so... Okay. Rex, we got some... some stuff here. Scanner room fragment. Ouch! Damn it. Come here. Come here. Where'd you go? Wuss. Okay. Well, let's see if we can um, search this uh, uh, Rex. See if we can find anything. Okay. 
and then we'll go back to our life pod okay scanner room fragment it's complete now anything in here they can see anything okay so people this is why we need the uh, the um, laser cutter we would be able we are able to go into some of these of these racks okay scan stuff we have a desk over here oh, i can't see anything else command chair okay local radiation readings suggest the aurora's drive core has reached critical state Quantum detonation will occur within two hours Ah, okay we will need the laser cutter to uh, to go in there okay can i open this door no what have we got here water 30 seconds First time I uh, I actually played this, I did not build the uh, the air bladder. Although I think I didn't. Although it's very useful for uh, for some situations now. Night time again. Let me see. Uh, we have two silver. I think we had one at the base, so we will be able to do the um, to make the rebreather. Okay, scanner room, okay so the wiring kit requires two silver, I can't see anything Passing down here, 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. okay already at the bottom Okay, because here, the light of the uh, of the city light with this um, color grading, it actually doesn't help much. There are some areas you can't see anything, anyways. So, okay. So let's head back to uh, let's head back to uh, to our life pod. Okay, I think we will be able to uh, to uh, make the rebreather now. Okay, so hmm. More titanium. Anything else around here? Okay, I don't think so. This is the area we've been on. No, it actually isn't. We haven't been here yet. Okay, let's go up. Get some oxygen. And then let's go back down beacon fragment nice we have one in here another one over there this uh, uh, can become quite useful later on okay so anything else I don't think so what's this Grav trap. This is nice. I always have uh, uh, at least one of these near my base. Mm 
more titanium. Actually, in this stage of the game, it may actually be useful. It may be useful. Okay, let's head back. I believe we have a new message. Okay, so, the sea life makes this so much easier. Do we have a new message? No. We don't. Okay, so... Let's turn that metal salvage into titanium. Then, what else can we build? Um, do I have any silver here? No. It must be outside somewhere. So we can build our wiring kit and then we can build ourselves a rebreather. Great. So let's get this out of here. Oh, we can make the habitat builder already? Hell yeah. So we need a computer chip. What else? A battery and a wiring kit. Okay, people, nonetheless, let's uh, uh, leave this uh, episode here. We did some exploring. We found uh, two uh, life pods from the Aurora. Um, no, no one alive. Uh, so we found a couple of PDAs. Actually, let's uh, uh, listen to the, uh, to the PDAs. So we've got the information here for the limestone, sandstone. And we have the two logs. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, people, so on Life Pod 3, they were actually trying to uh, figure out a way to um, to, ex to escape. Okay, so the uh, the Sea Glide could carry one person with the power cell uh, this uh, guy added to it. It should uh, double it. Okay. Now, nonetheless, um, there might be something faster out there. So, if there is something faster out there, that's gonna be a problem okay so and then life pod 17. how's his log it's the day of the crash i don't know what the heck is happening i'm scared and i'm not going outside there are shadows in the water under the hatch but i can't tell if they're rocks or aliens and there's weird looking caves nearby the aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate mobile vehicle bays bioreactors propulsion cannons it had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Yeah, no one's coming. That's true. Okay, so and we also find the uh, we also find the uh, blueprint for the mobile vehicle bay. This is what will allow us to build our uh, vehicles um, later on in the game, and we uh, found part of the blueprint for the Seamoth which will 
provide us with the uh, uh, information for our uh, the information will provide us uh, yes actually with the information to build our uh, little submarine to move around this area then we found also brain corals okay so we have already here some information about the um, things we have scanned along the way okay so voice logs and blueprints what are uh, what is new oh yeah the desk and the command chair okay well so let's uh, uh, leave this uh, episode here I'm just going to drink one of these waters I'm going to cook this pepper that we have here so we can uh, replenish our um, food bar over there okay and now uh, okay but well, let's uh, uh, leave this episode here okay thank you so much for um, for watching um, feel free to leave any comments any suggestions down below leave a like and also subscribe if you uh, if you feel like it okay um thank you so much once again and i'll see you soon in the next episode